1941, and it's 11 years as America is into the Great Depression. The stock market crash of 29 dealt such a devastating blow that most Americans are starting to get used to having to scrape to put food on the table. You know, my dad was born in the Great Depression, and he's told me about how he had to shoot birds out of the trees to put food on the table. He also had a unique quality of spirit. He'd carry songs around in his pocket. Always upbeat, uplifting songs that made you smile. Our president, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, notices that our America's head is starting to dip. We're buckling under the pressure as a result of that last stock market crash. And most of us are having a hard time lifting our heads beyond our present circumstances to see that vision in the distance. But he had to do something as World War II was encroaching on our shores. And when it comes to conflicting ideologies, it's not a question of if, but when. Roosevelt gives a speech in January of 41 to remind an American audience who she is. He says that United States citizens are separate from the rest of the world and this other ideology by the simple fact that we have freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. And if you contrast this with what was happening across the water and how even humanity was being redefined in these gross and uncertain terms, it becomes perfectly clear how important these freedoms are and what a treasure and a wealth that is in a world where peoples were being slaughtered. Now, if America recognized herself in those freedoms and lived it and practiced it and, and made her decisions based off of that identity, then future generations would inherit that freedom and then one day the world. Yet, if we were to ever let go of those freedoms and lose our identity in them, or if we lost sight whose identity in which we have been molded as a firstborn Christian nation, if we lost sight of him in whose image we are, meant to thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Freedom of worship. We had no question as to who God is. We know who God is. He is holy, holy, holy. Anyhow, I'm getting ahead of myself. United States citizens were not in a position to receive this call, to hear this message. Most were focused on their circumstances, and that's understandably so. We had more than enough problems to deal with. With a 25% unemployment rate, things were rough. Yet you can look back at that generation and see how they carried themselves with dignity. They did their best. Men and women wore clean, pressed clothes. They wore hats. They dressed their best. And they were honest and carried themselves in an honest manner. Roosevelt's speech unfortunately fell on deaf ears. Most were not ready to receive it. <laughs> and so Roosevelt very wisely leveraged the artist to echo the sentiment of his vision so that it might reach the heart of humanity.